Energy harvesting for portable applications is presented as a part of Texas Instruments Innovation Challenge India Analog Design Contest 2014. With an urban population of almost 3.7 billion and almost half of the populace being mobile users, India needs a lot of electricity to charge their mobile applications. And given the large number of people commuting across the city for work, imagine the reduction in usage of batteries and power banks if we could devise a method which can be used to charge these mobile applications using alternate sources of energy that are available to us at almost all times. This project addresses the very issue of replacing batteries and power socket chargers with more nature-friendly and in turn user-friendly equipment. This video explains the electronics involved in making the project and a demonstration of its functioning. The DIICs used in this project are MSP430G2553, an ultra-low power mixed microcontroller, LM358N, low supply dual op amp used as a differential amplifier while sensing current, REG1117, a three-terminal adjustable voltage regulator, SM72482, a dual gate MOSFET driver with improved peak current and efficiency, LP2950 with 3 volts and 5 volts output, low dropout voltage regulator. The TI softwares used in this project are Tina TI and Code Composer Studio. The first approach in this project is to generate electricity using mechanical vibrations generated during walking implementing Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The hardware setup consists of a perspex glass tube wound with enameled copper wire of 28 SWG using a winding machine. Four rare earth new dime magnets are placed inside the tube with another magnet at one end to ensure smooth oscillation. The tube is installed in such a manner that the magnet stack shapes vertically when the subject walks. An alternating EMF is produced, a bridge rectifier connected at the output of the tube to convert the AC signal to DC. The DC output across the bridge rectifier is shown on an oscilloscope, as you can see here. Then the output is filtered using a smoothening capacitor, and the corresponding waveform is shown on an oscilloscope. The output is used to charge three supercapacitors rated at 2.5 volt and 4.7 farad each connected in series. As the tube vibrates, the combination is charged up to 7.5 volts. The output of the supercapacitor is connected to a LDO which gives a fixed output of 5 volts. As the frequency of oscillations is not constant while walking, here we have used a morning walker to generate oscillation at 30 Hz. The second approach in this project is charging a mobile phone using solar panels. Voltage and current from the solar panels are read using the ADC of the microcontroller. Since ADC cannot sense current directly, we have used a current sensing resistor and a differential amplifier configuration. The output of the differential amplifier is a voltage proportional to the input current. We are using MPPT algorithm to achieve the maximum power out of the solar panels. MPPT stands for maximum power point tracking where we try to optimize power electronically. The solar panels are connected to a voltage divider and a current sensor to detect voltage and current respectively. The sample values of voltage and current from the ADC are multiplied to get power. This power varies with varying intensity of sunlight and cloud profile. As per the displayed flow chart, the duty cycle of the PWM output at MSP timer varies so as to optimize power. This variation in duty cycle over the course of experiment is used to control the voltage across the solar cells. This is done using a MOSFET gate driver used to drive a MOSFET switch. As the output current of MSP is very low, N-type MOSFET cannot be driven directly from it. Hence we use a MOSFET driver. Here the MOSFET acts as a switch inside the buck converter which gives varying voltage at the output. 
This output voltage is regulated to 5V using REC 1117IC which is a suitable voltage for phone charging. We are trying to show the optimized power using MSP430. The ADC is sensing the current in ampere and voltage and values are being displayed in V count and I count respectively. We, we have made a power array which is showing the optimized powers using the MPPT algorithm. As you can see, the powers are changing continuously in such a manner that we get optimized power of 37.5 milliwatt for sensed power of 31 milliwatt. In order to display the MOSFET switching waveforms on an oscilloscope, we are using an artificial light source which is also giving us 7 volt. We have applied the MPPT algorithm and you can see that the duty cycle is being varied continuously in order to optimize power. Now we have the waveform at the output of the gate driver IC which is inverting in nature. Now we have the waveform at the source. In order to observe the sudden change in intensity of radiation at the light source, we turn the heater on and we can see the changed waveform on the oscilloscope. Sorry. This is our double duty umbrella. We have installed four solar panels each rated 6 volt 200 milliampere in such a configuration as to get 12 volt 400 milliampere. We have optimized the power using maximum power point tracking algorithm in such a manner and we are able to use this umbrella for charging our mobile phone as you can see here. We would like to thank our mentor Dhananjay V. Kadre who suggested us this project in the first place and then helped us in each stage during the completion of the project. We would also like to thank Dr. C. P. Ravi Kumar for organizing this contest.